So I put up this video like a week ago on my side channel called uh, The Seller Plus R. It was called Failed and Obscure Punctuation Marks. And it was it's just me on camera talking about that. Just like a little Wikipedia rabbit hole I went down, basically. Because I think punctuation and grammar is interesting and cool because I'm like a writer guy and all that. And randomly, that video like blew the fuck up. It got like 130,000 views or something. Like ridiculous. And the subscribers for that channel jumped from like 30 people to like 3,000 or something on a video that took me an hour to make. <laughs> so that was cool. And what was really interesting, because the comments just would not stop on that video. It was a little bit overwhelming. And I liked reading a lot of them. Some of them I, some of them I didn't like reading. Um, but I, I liked... You know, some people got some, gave me some interesting information about this or that. A lot of people left comments about things that 20 other comments had said the same thing about. One thing I thought was interesting. So, I, you guys know how I look, right? There were a lot of people on that video, like at least five that I, I caught, um, ask <laughs> who, like, I think thought that I was trans. <laughs> Like, like, there was a couple people asking me what my pronouns were. Someone thought that I was, someone asked if I was boy moding, which if you don't know, it's, that's like a slang term. Uh, <clears throat> boy moding refers to when trans women dress in a uh, boyish, masculine way to, to hide their identity as women, uh, usually because either they're not out to certain people or just out publicly in general or to avoid harassment and stuff like that. Um, so it typically, like, I, I know a little bit about this stuff. It, 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 it usually means, like, uh, wearing kind of, like, baggy clothing and stuff like that. Like, like baggy clothing and, and pants and all that. And uh, just kind of like hide their figure and stuff. Um, and the funny thing is, uh, that's just how, like how I dress. <laughs> like, that is, that's just how I dress in general. Like I'm a very comfort first kind of guy. And like, okay, I'm in a weird position when I buy clothes, which is very rarely. But when I buy clothes, I'm in a weird position because I am fairly tall. I don't know if it is very obvious on camera, but I'm like six feet tall. However, I am not very wide. I'm kind of thin and lanky. So if I buy like a men's large, it's a little baggy on me, but it, it fits. It like fits fine. It's a little baggy on me. And if I buy a men's medium, it's it's like a little snug, like it's a little tight, not like uncomfortably so, but just, you know, kind of snug. Um, and it feels weird to me. It almost feels like skin tight. <laughs> uh, and if given the choice between the two, I will usually just pick the large because I would just prefer being a little comfy. So I happen to... I just, I guess I just happen to look and dress like a, like a certain type of trans woman, which is ironic because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hundred and forty pounds of, of all American man, baby. <laughs> I have to remember my weight. I haven't weighed myself in a while. There's no way I'm over like 140 at this point though. <laughs> um, I've been underweight like my entire life and it's not. It's not because I have any sort of eating disorder. I've just always been like 10 pounds underweight. Like, I eat a fair amount. It's just I don't get hungry very often. It might just be... It might just... Maybe I'll just have to wait a few years. Then I'll get nice and fat as my metabolism slows down. But that's the situation that I'm in. Yeah, a lot of people in that video... I don't know. I like... I screenshotted a couple of them... Because there was just some weird comments. 
there were some weird comments on that on that video talking about like my appearance <laughs> um uh uh someone said i had voluptuous hair and then corrected it i mean voluminous um i i know i say more than these hang on uh, a lot of comments about my appearance saying i'm pretty uh i look like michael sarah cosplaying my this video was incredibly helpful he looks like michael sarah cosplaying my girlfriend's mom i love this topic are you a boy motor I'm sorry, I just had to say that the entire video, looking at you, all I could think of was least queer grammar nerd, and I couldn't say this more lovingly. I'm not. Great video, and also you're cute. Keep it up with both. Okay, this one was crazy to me, because I finally got a gay compliment. Oh, have I ever talked about gay compliments before? Okay, let me explain. Okay, so a few years ago, I went on this little, like, YouTube algorithm rabbit hole because i found this channel that was called i'm from driftwood and it was essentially a series of testimonial st stories from various lgbt people talking about their life experiences and some of them were uh really nice and, and wholesome and f made, made, made me feel good some of them were you know a little harrowing some of them were kind of depressing they ran the they ran the gamut from all sorts of different experiences, different types of people. And I really liked that that series. And the videos were generally usually short, like under seven minutes kind of thing. So I ended up watching a bunch of them and I read, I was reading the comments and I l discovered a phenomenon which I call the gay compliment. So here's what it is. I'm going to let you in on my observation, my little secret observation. Here's the structure of a gay compliment. There's two parts to it. Number one, is a friendly compliment. Number two is a barely restrained attraction to the person. So, for instance, be some guy talking about his experiences and all that, and you go down the comments, and you re you'll find one that's like, wow, he's such a great storyteller. And very handsome, if I might add. <laughs> or... <laughs> or, wow, she's really brave for going through that. <laughs> and she really knows how to pick out an outfit. And, and like, it was such a consistent pattern that I found on all of them. But usually the ones with the younger peoples, and I imagine these are younger people leaving them. That I, I eventually, I noticed this pattern across so many of them that I eventually just uh, came up with this theory of the gay compliment. So I finally got one. Great video. And also you're cute. I know that's a gay person. Um, so that's uh that that's that's my little story. I'm sure once you if if you're a little if you're a little gay beau or a little little queer person and you spend enough time on the internet tell tell me if Tell me if, if my observation is right or not, or if you've noticed that yourself. That's what I call it, the gay compliment. 